Hey there, today I'm going to discuss about child theme and how exactly you can create one and I'm going to show it up with GeoCraft WordPress theme. So before I start, let's discuss what exactly is a child theme. Now child theme is a theme that inherits the functionality of another theme that can be called as its parent theme and you can use an existing theme to create a child theme without creating one from the scratch. So that is one of the benefits you are getting up over here. Now why would you need this child theme? What, what is the use with this child theme? Let's say you have made any change changes to a themes file and uh, then in the near future uh, the theme update comes and you update the theme files now everything is gone you lose everything and all the files are likely to be overwritten so in order to avoid this you can create a child theme that will allow you to make changes without affecting the original themes code okay you can make a separate set of files that you can use to customize the theme without affecting the original theme so let's see how exactly you can create a child theme so what do you need to do uh, you need to log into your website with an ftp client and then navigate to wp content you can see and then themes and over here you will find there are many folders one or more folders each which represent a theme that is installed on your site over here i have got my geocraft theme okay i'm gonna show you up with my local host over here so in order to create a child theme what i need to do is i'll create a folder and i will name it geocraft theme and child theme remember one thing you need to name the parent theme over here okay whatever is the parent theme you need to put that name over here and then you need to provide a hash and then child theme okay so this is how you name a child theme now next step what you need to do is you need to create a style.css file you can see just copy these lines whatever it is okay you need just to copy these lines and create a style.css file and two things which you will need to notice over here is one the theme name and the template these both are mandatory and to make sure that the template name is the parent themes name that is geocraft in this case so you have copied this line now what you need to do you need to call the parent themes css file within your child theme style.css file so that when you activate the child theme the wordpress is able to uh, detect that style.css file okay so what do you need to do that in order to import you need to put up this line you can see and make sure again the name is geocraft theme the parent theme name over here so what i'm going to do is i've created the style.css file and now i'm going to take this file and put it up on my uh, geocraft theme child folder okay so let's take it here it is and i'm gonna copy it now i have copied it and it's done now i'll go to my local host and refresh And, and now you will find the geocraft child theme over here can you see just activate it and now I'm gonna refresh my site it's same just as the parent theme okay there is no changes in its style because we have imported the theme css file the parent theme css file within our child theme so everything is same up over here and now you can make any modifications in the functionality you can add anything you can uh, you know remove anything from your child themes file and you can make all modifications with your child theme now one thing which i need to tell you is that you can see all these php files up over here you can edit any of these php files all you just need to do is copy this take it to your child theme folder put it up over there and then make any changes you want so this is basically how you can do not only just the css you can edit all these php files as well now one thing more which i need to remind you is not only this php files out here now you can also edit the files that are under these subfolders you can see admin css font geocraft images js language library and everything so all these subfolders okay all these files that come under the subfolder you can now even modify these files i'll show you for example i'm taking this library copying it I'm taking it to geocraft I'm gonna paste it up over here okay. now I need only this text domain so except this I'm gonna delete everything 
now over here i just need to edit the front end part so except this i'm gonna do it everything so you can see the path over here themes geocraft child theme library text domain and front end part and i'm gonna edit it with notepad plus plus now over here um, let's go down let's see it's written lost your password i edited this and I'm gonna save this, come here, and I'm gonna sign in. You can see, forgot your password, it's coming up over here. Now let's say when you will click here on add new listing, you will find these steps over here, enter business listing details. So now you want to edit this, okay? What you can do, step one is enter business listing details, enter details. Just, I'm just editing this and I'm putting it up as entry details. Now, I'll come here and I'll refresh. You can see entry details. So it's just to show you how exactly the things are changing here in the front end when you are modifying it in the child thing. But again, one thing which you need to remember here is the changes are only coming up in the child theme. Your parent theme is not affected with it. You can see enter business listing details this is coming up with the parent theme also when you will find here at logout you will find it's written lost your password so the things are same okay you have made the modifications in the child theme but your parent theme is not affected with it so this is how exactly you create a child theme and similarly you can copy all those files okay whatever you have got in your uh, parent theme you can take the subfolders and you can edit all these files that are coming under the subfolders so try this and um, even if you make a few changes spare yourself from getting nasty surprises next time when your theme update rolls around so create child theme and uh, thanks so much for watching